Very cool. Now, but the point of all of that is that all of us during some time in our earlier life were hurt in some ways. And the point of that is what do we want to do to let go of those hurts, to heal those hurts, to learn from those hurts, and to really get to be the happy person. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And that's what we're going to learn today is the tools that allow us to let go of that stuff. Wow. Wow. Very cool. Uh, I got to tell you that uh, letting go of that stuff is and allowing that flow inside, we, we were influenced, you're saying, but when we, we choose to respond only because our natural nature is to be in, in happiness. Is that, is that accurate? Well, our natural nature is gentleness, compassion, empathy, and happiness. It's, in short, love. Wow. But we let that get buried up in our human drama. So Very what we're going to reveal today is how to release and resolve those things. How to let go. Wow. <laughs> friend, uh, just text me just a second ago. Um, his name is David Kamatoy. He just he needs some more information, and uh, to get on here with. So I just wanted to um, congratulate David. Thank you for uh, getting on here. And uh, well, you're not on here yet, but uh, we'll we'll figure out a way to. There we go. Here's somebody's popping in here. Who we who who do we have here? Shelly. Wow, Shelly. I. So, Stephen, what uh, what we came here today to, to to hear from you was the five tools of eternal happiness. Um, what, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, give us some insight on what that looks like. Okay, so the first tool that almost nobody talks about, but is really important because. What it does is it gives us a way to get free of what I call the inherited emotional jail. We all grew up learning by example from those around us. And when we do that mm. and we see conflict and anger and all those human emotions coming out, <laughs> then we take that on as a way of being. Oh, and wow. we become constrained by that model. So the first tool that lets us to get free of that model is permission. Ah, wow. We want to give ourselves permission to grow as a spirit or as a human beyond that inherited emotional jail and those limits that we grew up with. I actually like to think of it as permissioning. Oh, because it's not something that we just do once. It would not be sweet. <laughs> but what we got to do is every time we feel constrained, every time we feel resistance, every time we feel stuck, we can give ourselves permission to move beyond that, to release the limitations of our ancestors and those we grew up around, whether they be blood relatives, colleagues, close friends, whatever. Mm -hmm. But to give up, that old way of being for a new way of better being. <laughs> so permission is really, really important and almost nobody talks about it. 
Do we use it in the moment? Give yeah, a absolutely. Absolutely. When you feel the inner resistance, you can just accept yourself as you are. I accept that inner resistance. And I give myself permission to rise above it. Wow. I give myself permission to grow beyond what is happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it makes all the difference when you can grow beyond what's happening because we, we don't have to accept the argument that we're in at that moment. We can no! <laughs> it's just historical. It's a reaction. What we want is to respond, which is a more considered reaction. Okay. So if we are just reacting, we are in our human mode, doing that same old, same old pattern that has been passed down from generation to generation. Ooh, it's ugly. <laughs> I just want to acknowledge Shelly. Shelly, if you want to join us, please do. I just would love to, uh, I want to introduce you to Stephen L. White. He's uh, an amazing man. I, uh, <laughs> he only smiles, but it's true. He, yeah, <laughs> he has overcome a lot of, he's recognized and, and that, that, that happiness really does work. And he's an example that actually, uh, you can experience every day with him. And thank you, Stephen, for that. <laughs> yeah, that's my entire pleasure, I can tell you. I just love passing this on. <laughs> yeah, <it's true. laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So permission is a really valuable tool for getting unstuck, for starting to put yourself on a path of growth, and for starting to let go and tear down the bars of the inherited emotional jail. <laughs> Who wants to live in jail? <laughs> no, 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 we're, we're, we're breaking out of jail at this yeah, moment. Yeah. So That's here's the key. Out. It starts with the letter P and it's permission. <laughs> Oh, it's just permission. Just to give ourselves permission to get out of the circumstances. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, that's tough. That's the best thing we could do. You're totally right about that. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. So when we go on and we give ourselves permission, what is the next part of it? Like, we, do we learn something from it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly the point. Understand that what is happening to you is actually happening through you. Wow. It's an energy situation. It's not about, you know, if criticism is coming at you, that's them and their energy of unhappiness within pointing mm -hmm. out at you. Remember, when this finger is pointed at you, there's still three fingers pointed back at me. Oh, that's a great one, too. <laughs> so, anytime somebody's pointing the finger at you, you can rest assured that in some way they have that issue that they're talking about you. So, you're saying... So, don't let that get you down. Ah. See them as your mirror. If it's getting you upset, that means you have the issue too. So That's now... Really, really profound. Since we are not stuck, though, because we have given ourselves permission to grow, mm -hmm then this becomes a learning opportunity. <laughs> and so now learning is one of the keys of good living. Yes. You know, it's one of the reasons we came to Earth as a soul was to learn something and to give something. So the so, learning... 
the learning part of it is where somebody is coming in and interrupting your life, making you feel unhappy, sad. So it might be you. It might be a situation, or it might be another person. Oh, wow. But anything that is getting me upset is an opportunity for me to give me permission and to learn something new about me. <laughs> so, yeah, so as I'm learning new things about me, then I get into the healing mode. And there's only one thing I like better than healing. And that? That is healed. <laughs> yeah. I just love being healed. God, make me whole. <laughs> so, the, so anytime we get triggered inside, like we have an issue that is going on, uh, it could be in a relationship. We go from one relationship to another relationship, and we find that we're doing the same thing. It's, a, it's an actual pattern inside of you. Yes. It's an energy that you're holding, a negative energy that wants to be healed. And so it keeps flashing up, causing you emotional pain and eventually physical pain. Oh, yeah. So that means that's where you get your breakouts of cold sores. And yes. Because it's an actually, it's an energy that is bubbling up inside of you that that needs to be released or just consciously <laughs> say, yeah. I choose happiness today? Exactly. It's what it is, is your emotional side. I'm just putting up a screen here that, so I'm not dark on one side of my face. <laughs> By the way, you know, anybody can text us at 903-9, I'm sorry, 903-799-9461 for any questions. If, yeah, you know, if, you're, if, you're here, if you're getting this on the replay, you can always text me at 903-799-9461 if you want questions answered right away. Thanks. Good. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, and so, yeah, so this learning is not the kind of learning that we think about from school days. Oh, wow. This is another big problem in our society. We've been brainwashed. So we've been brainwashed that learning is about being able to recall and regurgitate information on demand. So to having knowledge. Having is the lowest level of living, lowest energy level of living. Having is the lowest energy of living. Yes. Yes. Well, we all know about the be, do, have cycle. Yeah, we uh, don't all, but a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> But this is the whole idea, right? The highest level of living is at the level of being and giving. Okay. And doing is in the middle. Got it. So more many people are stuck in the doing and having loop. Some people are stuck just in the having loop. That ah. is the lowest energy way of living. Now that's a profound statement in my opinion because everybody thinks if they have this brand new car or this brand new home they're going to feel great it's not true i've seen i have seen mega multimillionaires testify to this they bought the biggest house they bought the biggest toys they bought the most expensive things and were flabbergasted 
when they walked in that they didn't feel happy. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's really cool. So when we laugh and we giggle. <laughs> <we're>... <laughs> <laughs> when we want things to go that way, we can be enthusiastic and inspirational. Yeah. This is all releasing those patterns that we've built up over the years of something we came here to learn. Yes. <laughs> we came here to learn. We came here to love. We came here to move. We came here to give. So what about the give? Okay. What about forgiveness? Is a Okay. So, yeah. Once we learn... Once we take on learning, and learning, like I started to say, is not about knowing and then just passing it out. Wow. Learning is about learning to do differently, learning to be differently. So when I am moving up the scale of living vibration, then I am learning to be better, to do better, to give better. And this is real learning. And this is what makes all the difference. This wow. is the road to happy success. Well, I would have to say, oh, forgiveness within ourselves. Yes, so once we have learned, then in order to release that negative energy in us, it helps tremendously to forgive. And forgiving is the third tool. So first it's permission or permissioning, then it's learning, and then it's forgiving. So what is forgiving? Forgiving is about giving a situation a new meaning or a new perception. It's not about condoning the bad behavior of others. It's about releasing that anger, that hatred, that resentment, that fear within us. Because if you think about it, you can hold all of that bad stuff in you that other person doesn't know that. You're not hurting them. But you are hurting you. So why do that? <laughs> well, we do have to get something out of it. Yeah, but you won't get anything out of negativity because there is no truth in human negativity no. every human wow every human is born with infinite potential so some that, humans grow and release that potential some humans bury it and work to keep it down their whole life and then regret that at the end. Okay, now allowing yourself to forgive. So forgiving is another key to releasing the emotional, inherited emotional jail. Wow. Forgiving is so powerful. It is letting go of the negativity. Forgiving is a huge key to freedom. It's freedom for you. That other person cannot escape the wrong they have done. Is there some idea that you would be able to give me an example of how we could forgive ourselves in a way that... Yeah. <laughs> there is, eh? <laughs> well, I'll give you an example from my own life. Okay. Um, there was a time when I was in really high conflict with my wife and my children. 
And um, I felt that I was totally undervalued, that I was being really abused, and that it was desperately unfair. <laughs> and this went on for quite a long time. And at one point, I came to realize that everything I learned to resolve that has made me the man I am today. Without that, I would never have been motivated to learn all this stuff that I learned. And so what they did for me was the greatest gift I have ever received and probably ever will. I am so grateful for that. Wow. They caused me to connect with my purpose for living. Without that, I'd have gone on living the so-called merry life where, you know, you're, you're drinking and you're partying and you're collecting things and bragging and doing all this stuff. Meanwhile, you're getting heavier and softer and weaker and carrying more and more pain. Wow, what a, what a profound statement right there. Yeah. So this forgiving is truly freedom. Very truly freedom. No matter how bad it seems, all crisis, all chaos, all problems are the source of wisdom. Oh, wow. Or not. <laughs> And why do you say or not? Because if we look at it from the victim perspective. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the prison that binds us. Yeah, it is the prison. If we look at it from the learner's perspective, mm -hmm. it's pure, unadulterated freedom. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's all about the positive and the negative, right? Which way do we look at things? Yeah. Well, that's that's very true. And it leads also into like the other step that you were mentioning earlier about uh, gratitude and being grateful. Yeah. Uh, so this is the this is the fourth tool, gratitude. Because what learning does is helps us to grow. What forgiveness does is to release that negativity. What gratitude does is to fill up that space with love. Oh, wow. Because gratitude is love of what is. <laughs> right? So thank you for this is another way of saying I love this. Uh -huh. So what you're doing is you're giving gratitude first for your ability and your willingness to learn. That's really cool also for your ability and willingness to forgive. Okay. Also for everything you have and also for every skill you possess and can deliver. Wow. So there is always so much to be grateful for and there is well, always so much that we take for granted. You know, like any time we're really angry and really pissed at the world and really upset, we forget that we're still wearing clothes, we're still breathing, and what a gift that is. <laughs> we are still around people, what a gift that is. Yes. We are probably still with accommodation and food and transportation and personal safety, even though we're threatening that in others. How do we threaten it in others? By being angry at them. 
We're threatening their personal safety and security. Now that really makes sense. Yeah. So there is always something to be grateful for. If you can't be grateful, then you're dead because you're not breathing anymore. <laughs> Well, some people think of, I mean, if they're not grateful, they, that's why all the other things that you were saying earlier, people get to it really, so they don't find, when they, when they can actually be, start saying gratitude statements to themselves, of uh, just the simplest things that they can appreciate really helps them uh, raise their vibration and look at it from a perspective of uh, being gr grateful for just the little things that they have in their life, the little statements that well, they can make. Yeah, it liberates them from stress. You can't be grateful and stress. And it also heals their children's children. It heals the children. Say it's a mom or dad in the family, and they've got their connection with, if, if they're stressed out and if they're always telling their kids how grateful they are, they're pre-programming their children to live in gratitude and not spreading that fear around any longer. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Yeah, that is yes. profound. <laughs> it's a simple <laughs> little thing that we could do. Yeah. Well, Gratitude is so important and so powerful because it's love, right? And I think the real core of happiness is learning to love ourself. So being grateful for ourself is another great way to do that. <laughs> Yay for Yay. love! <laughs> and then we have, then, then it leads to our purpose. Yeah, so this is the funny thing. Everybody is looking for something. That's true. And most people don't know what that something is. But they have this longing, this unfulfilled longing for something more important in living. Mm -hmm. And this thing that we're looking for is meaning. For people who have meaning in their lives, it's more important than anything else. It's more important than money. It's more important than food. It's more important than sex. It's more important than sleep. It's more important than anything else. They will do it to the ends of the earth and will only take time out for the essential elements of life. A quick what bite, a quick people? drink, every what three weeks a shower. <laughs> they, uh, that that um, breathing rakes or money ranks right up there with breathing. What are <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah I get that. I get that. Money in our society, money is very important, but it's over-worshipped. Money over is important, but it's not the most important thing. Mm. Yeah. But it ranks up because, there with oxygen? Pardon me? It ranks up there with oxygen? Uh, I think in Western society, it's as essential, unless you have somebody looking after you, and that takes money as well, because that's the way our system works, to get anything. And like I said, having is the lowest energy, but none of us can live without having something. We need to have right. things. So that takes money. So I don't disagree with that. And having enough money is essential because we want security of life and that brings us security of life. Okay. Now that freeze of having security of life is what frees us up to think higher thoughts and to 
pursue happiness. Mm -hmm. I don't think um, happiness should be pursued. I think it should be uncovered. <laughs> <laughs> as, we, as we discussed there in this last. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Stephen joined us. Welcome, Stephen. Nice to see you. You can come and join us, Stephen. Jump right on. You can, you can join another Stephen over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's about happiness. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> love to have you. Love to have a chat with you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but so, when, how do you uncover or find the? Okay, the, so how do you get this meaning? Is the question, right? Yeah, it really. Yeah. So you can really find meaning in anything, but the best way to connect with long lasting meaning is through uncovering your purpose for living. Because that is what everybody really deeply wants. And that is the hole in everybody's soul who they just can't put their finger on it, is purpose. You know, put some hands on us. <laughs> 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 I love your comment, Steve, but it's not too much happiness. That's not possible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Love oh, you laughing a little bit, be a little more serious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, we are okay. the society so, of seriousness. Yeah, yeah. So everybody has a purpose, right? When they, yeah. when we come to Earth, we come here for a reason, and that reason is our purpose for living. And so, finding our purpose, uncovering or discovering our purpose, is a primary thing of what we want in life. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> We haven't been smoking anything, uh, Stephen, either. We're good. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the whole point. When you're happy from the inside out, you don't need any of those addictions. There you go. They all float away. <laughs> all of those addictions are about some lack of loving in the self. So when you are really happy, you are really loving you. And when you are really loving you, you are loving you through what you take in, through what you do, through how you relate, through how you achieve, through how you live. <laughs> and it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Moods are contagious. <laughs> yes, it is. It comes from a place of uh, authenticity. Quirkiness sometimes, but totally true authenticity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so uncovering your purpose. Now, how do we uncover our purpose? That's the issue, right? So our purpose is aligned with joy. So oh, wow. if you think back to the things that you have done in your life, What happened to your voice there, Mr. Stephen Whiteley? Is it just on my side? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> we have a... Your video, you're capturing the video. Well, I got to tell you, thank you, audio only. Well... Can you still speak there, Mr. Stephen Wiley? If not, well, you know what, guys? I got... <laughs> you got... <laughs> well, you have to take care of that wife of yours, Steve. I would say that that's really important. And you could give her a kiss, give her a hug, and it makes a whole lot of difference. Happy washing. Yeah, there you go. Have a wonderful day. And I would, I really, really enjoy everyone stopping by today because Stephen L. Whiteley, 
has really shifted my life in a way that, uh, you know, you, you, when you talk about the days that you are going through and you're not, you've got this frustration going on. Well, that's not happiness. That's, that's the happiness is when you can actually laugh and be happy with inside yourself about the situation that is going on and letting go of the circumstances around what you think you have to be like, or be mad or glad or, you know, there's, when those, those anger aspects are let go, it really makes a difference. Um, because it makes the whole day go good when you start out in the morning feeling really good and at the end of the day you can still feel good i love mastering that that is one of the mastering that's where i really really love mastering in my life and it makes a big difference when you can go from morning to night and still be happy and not end up being pissed off at the, by the end of the night. I was one of those people that I would come around four or five o'clock and I never thought I had enough done in one day. So it's powerful. It is totally powerful to know and let go when those problems arise inside of you or those anger issues that you have inside of you let those go and you can choose to laugh and actually have a good time with it <laughs> it's all about bull. good blood reports from gp <laughs> everyone for being here today I really appreciate it and I uh, thank you Stephen L. Wiley and uh, uh, we're going to be here tomorrow at 2 p.m. please uh, come if you have any questions please give me a uh, text at 903-799-9461 that's again uh, you can text me any questions uh, that you might have, how to get a hold of Stephen, how to have a conversation with uh, with me, and uh, please stay in touch at, tomorrow at 2 p.m. Saturday. <laughs> that is a good one, Stephen. That is Steve, that is really a good one. Yes, you do need to know. Um, get her on with us and we can have a conversation. That would be kind of fun. Kind of. It would be fun. Thank you. Um, thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Good day. Thank you.